Welcome back. It is National EMS Week, and we figured we'd have Ed Morshead come in here. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Uh, Ed is a paramedic, and he works with uh, Northern Light Medical Transport. So I guess, Ed, uh, I want to first ask you to, if you can, describe uh, maybe a thumbnail of what it is that you and your, your colleagues do and provide to our communities. Sure. So thanks for having me. Sure. Uh, we are uh, EMTs and paramedics that... Primarily, we do 911 coverage for approximately 100 towns and unorganized territories, stretching geographically through Hancock, Penobscot, Somerset, and Piscataquis counties. That's uh, a line from about Trenton, Hancock, all the way up to Greenville and Rockwood. Wow. So it's a, it's a large area. Uh, at any given day, we have about 25 ambulances on the road. And, that coverage area. Uh, we partner with first responder services from some of those local towns, either the fire departments or rescue squads that don't transport. Mm -hmm. And together we provide a service to the citizens of those communities when they have medical emergencies that is uh, efficient, quick. The people that live in those towns can actually get there before we can. Sure. So we may have an ambulance in Ellsworth, say, mm -hmm. but a first responder service in Hancock can get there much faster. They get there, they do the primary care, we get there with paramedics and then do the transportation. Sure. We also have an ambulance service in Aroostook County that does primarily transfers, interfacility transfers, not 911, which is between hospitals. So they may bring patients down from Aroostook County to Bangor or Portland for care that's more specific and more uh, acute than what they could get in a Rooster County. Sure. So a lot of calls that you're, you're taking and responding to, and it seems like a lot of different needs for your services. How many of those calls are emergency calls that you're responding to? Well, 50% of our calls are 911 or emergency calls, and 50% are what we call interfacility transfers, which will be either between hospitals, hospitals to nursing homes, or hospitals to someone's home. What kind of work does an emergency responder do? So primarily, they you see them in ambulances, and they're responding. Uh, I guess the more dramatic would be the code three response when you see an ambulance going through your town with lights and siren. Uh, and that's what they do most of the time or the interfacility transfers. However, with any public safety job, there's a lot of education and ongoing education. So you need initial training. You also need the updated training on new skills, new equipment. So they spend a lot of time in schools and in training sessions. Is there a dividing line or a way to uh, quantify when is the right time to call 911 and when is the time to just take yourself to the hospital? So it's difficult. Everyone has a different comfort level with when they should call 911. Obviously, if you're having chest pain, if you're having shortness of breath, uh, altered mental status, slurred speech, uh, severe trauma or bleeding, you should certainly call 911. But if you have a cold, if you have an earache, things like that wouldn't require emergency services. I would probably shy away from that. All that being said, if you feel that you need 911, you certainly should call it. You're never going to be turned down. What about emergency care versus urgent care? So ambulances don't provide transportation to urgent care centers. That's actually us in the state statute. We, we're not allowed to. However, all that being said, once again, let me go back to saying that if you have chest pain, chest discomfort, shortness of breath, or the slurred speech, mental status changes, you absolutely should go to an emergency department. They have the staff and the ability and the equipment to treat those issues where an urgent care center wouldn't have the equipment or the adequate staff to treat those. Also, if you have a sprain or a strain, a cough or a cold, minor laceration that might need some stitches, urgent care centers are great for that. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, a lot of information. Thank you so much, and uh, I appreciate you on this uh, well, 52 weeks out of the year, but in particularly on this week in honor of you and your colleagues. So thank you for coming in, spend some time with us. Thank you. Uh, NorthernLightHealth.org has got more information if you need it. Uh,